Welcome to this video of creating a lottery ticket generator in C++. If you're new to the C++ Better Explained YouTube channel, welcome. My name is Sahil Bora and I'm the founder and proprietor of the C++ Better Explained website, where it's our mission to give you guys straightforward and no BS advice on how to learn the C++ programming language. So in creating this lottery ticket program today, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using uh, a few functions here to create uh, to create the random numbers and we're also going to be using arrays to generate a block of uh, a, a block of six elements with six numbers in each array to, which are all going to be generated randomly to create a lottery ticket because I think it's like one in uh, like one in ten millions or something to create a lottery ticket to, to win a, to win a lottery. So in this, so an example that, that I'm giving you guys today is going to be a real life example, actually demonstrating you guys how actually a lottery ticket is actually generated uh, in the real world. Uh, in Australia, we actually call this a, call this a, a, tuts, a tuts lottery ticket. I'm not sure what what it's officially called in the US. I think I think in the US it's actually called just just a lottery ticket. So let's get into the code breakdown of actually creating a a lottery ticket in C++. So here we are. Here we are inside Visual Studio of our lottery ticket generator program that we've implemented in C++. So to start off with, the at the very top on line five, we've got our, st our stock standard include files. So we're using std, lib, io stream, and c time. So the reason why we've, we've included c time is to to allow us to generate random to allow it allows us to generate random numbers. Uh, line number nine using namespace std so that that allows us to uh, print stuff out using the cout uh, function. Uh, some people would say that's bad practice, but uh, it, but I wouldn't worry about that right now because this is just a very basic uh, program that I'm showing you guys today. It's not really going out into the real world, so don't worry about it too much just as yet. So we've got our public variables that we've declared from lines 14 to line 17. Now you may notice that we've got the const keyword declared uh, next to these variables and the reason why we have the const variable declared is because uh, in another video I talked about how when we include the const keyword the values are going to remain the same the same the, the values are going to remain the same throughout the, the entire duration of the program because we don't want those variables that the that, that we've declared from in lines 14 to 17, 17 to change. So we're going to keep them all the same. Uh, then we've got our function prototypes in lines 22 to 24. So this is, you know, the, getting the lines, printing out the, printing out the, the generated numbers and, the, and also the duplicates that we've generated. We've got our int main function. So this is where we're doing the setup here. And we're actually calling in calling in the functions get line and print out in our for loop here. So this so this allows us so this uh, set, so this sets everything everything up and prints everything out. And and, and also when we run it, we've also got it, it's also just going to pause the program to, to show what our what our values have have been generated. So if we look at this first function here, duplicates. So what it's doing is that we've got three parameters. We've got our number, array, and we've got the size. And what it's doing is it's it's is that it's going it's going it's using a for it's using a for loop and it's going through the size, and it's checking to see whether whether the the value inside inside the array inside inside the the array is equal to number, and if it is, it's going to return true. Otherwise, it's going to exit out of the for loop, and it's going to just going to return false. And then inside the get line function, what it's what it's going to be doing is this is this is this is the bread and butter of the code where it's actually generating our random numbers uh, using this this rand function here that we've called. So we use it, so inside this inside this for loop here, we're actually gener we're actually generating our random numbers here. And it's also using a while loop to help us generate uh, our our random numbers, and then it's sending it to this variable here called line. And then also what we've got here inside print line is that we've it's also 
inside this print line function here, it's allowing us to print out the values that have been generated, which puts it, which brings us all back together. And which, yeah, so which brings us all back together inside the int main function. So if I run this, this program now, so it is generating our, our values for our lottery ticket here. So we have, so how do we have until we have? We've got one, two, three, four, five, six. So we have, so we have six elements with six different numbers inside to help us generate our lottery tickets uh, in C++. In Australia, we call this a tax lottery ticket. I'm not sure what it, whether it's what it's called in the US. I think in the US it's called a, a lottery ticket, but in Australia we call it a tax lottery ticket. So this is a real life demonstration of creating a lottery ticket program in C++. And if this video is, has helped you out a lot, please smash that like button down below because it really helps with the YouTube algorithm and it, it allows us to get to get us more, more exposure of these videos to help more people out. So thanks for watching and I hope you guys have a great day.